Hey there everyone, my name is Jam, and welcome back to Stardew Valley 1.4. So this is kind of a thing that's been around for a while now, but it's now become even more broken in 1.4 somehow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show it off, because, you know, I can. So first off, gotta be here, because you're gonna need... Oh, you're not gonna need that. You're going to need this. Sheds, we all know them, we all love them. Just build it. And cool. Obviously, because I have fast build on, things are gonna go faster, but never mind. So a normal shed looks like this, right? When filled with kegs, looks kinda like this. But now there's a thing in the game called the Big Shed, and when filled with kegs, it looks like this. So to get the Big Shed, you're gonna need 20,000 gold, 550 wood, 300 stone, so resource-wise, not relatively expensive later game. Early game, you might struggle to get it, specifically the gold part, because gold is just a struggle as is. And then wood and stone, you have to spend on a million other things anyways. So this may come later game, like maybe not year one, but regardless. Just plop it on a shed, then you get big shed. No, you won't. So when you try to walk into a big shed with the old keg layout, kind of looks like that. So basically, the the old keg layout doesn't exactly work anymore. So the new layout now looks like this. You go from 67 kegs to 137 kegs, so a 70 keg increase is nothing to really sneeze at. Let's take a look now at the actual productivity of said sheds. So I'm gonna model this with three different things. Parsnips, which are a pretty easy to get spring thing no matter what stage of the game you're in. Cranberries, which if you do your uh, farming correctly, you can get an absolute load of them in your first year. And they're pretty profitable no matter what year you're in. And ancient fruits, which take a while to actually farm, but once you get them are absolutely worth the effort. I'm gonna fill one shed with each of these. And after a little bit of help from my mods, we're gonna go ahead and check all of these. So every single shed, yeah, it's quite a bit has now the same amount of each type of wine in it, which is going to be 137. So just to save time, I want to give myself 137 of each type of thing and just sell it. You know, this is the kind of thing that I was really hoping for, but not the kind of thing that I expected to actually happen, so that's kind of cool. And of course it has to go to the very end crop, so it's just going to do absolutely nothing for me. So basically, Star Drop sell for stupid amounts of money each. But each type of wine, as you can see here, parsnip juice just... One big shed sells for 10k, cranberry, 30k, and ancient fruit wine, 226k. So basically, it's a little bit of money. Not broken or anything. As a reminder, when you hit level 10 farming, there is a profession that you can choose that's called artisan, which makes artisan goods, wine, cheese, oil, etc., worth 40% more. Note, wine. That mixed with the big sheds suddenly becomes a little bit more overpowered. I will demonstrate. So let me quickly get the wine slash juice again and I'll sell it just to show. Well then. All right, so with the artisan buff, parsnip juice suddenly becomes 14K, almost 15K. Cranberry wine becomes 43K and ancient fruit wine goes up to, Jesus Christ, 316K just for one shed's worth. Just a casual reminder that you can have more than one shed full of kegs, so that adds up after a while. So yeah, basically, the large sheds are just a little bit broken in this new update. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. If there's something that you want to see me cover that I haven't already done, please feel free to comment it below. I have a list of things that I'm going to be working on, so if it's not already there, I will add that to my list, and there is a chance that you'll see whatever it is you want coming within the next few days. Also, feel free to comment if you, I missed anything regarding sheds or whatever in this video. You guys have been helping me a whole lot in the last video of the Fishing Ponds one. You guys caught a lot of stuff that I missed, so thank you so much for being supportive and catching all the stuff that I'm not aware of. Because you actually are helping me learn in the process of teaching you too. So, once again, hope this helped. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.